The war against Mordor is proceeding as expected. Their eastern flank has collapsed under the golden fist of our Lokan and his legions, whilst more troops pour in every day. Victory is not yet near, however, and for as long as the orcs draw breath, they are a threat to our empire. Our Lokan, in all his brilliance, has however found a weak spot in Sauron's defences, the Black Gate of Moranoth. With the western forces of Mordor engaged against the realm of Gondor, the Black Gate is only lightly defended. The Dark Lord Sauron, as vain as he is, would never expect a full frontal attack on his most defensible position. And that is exactly where we shall strike. The Black Gate shall soon be a Golden Gate, and remain shut for all orcs attempting to flee our Lokan's onslaught. Greetings my friends and welcome back for the 26th episode of our Empire of Rune campaign in 3rd Age Total War Divide and Conquer AGO. And I want to start off this episode, it feels like I've done it too many times lately, but I really want to start with an apology because this video is coming out quite a bit later than I uh, had in mind. I'm pretty sure I talked about in the previous episode that I had a couple days off work that I'd spent that time recording lots of stuff. It's going to be amazing, it's going to be lots of fun, lots of good times, and then I became sick. Not the big C as far as I'm concerned or as far as I'm aware. Um, I was out for like two or three days, something like that, uh, just fever and a lot of headaches. So I spent most of the time in my bed watching random crap on YouTube, <laughs> just not really able to uh, to play any video games, uh, let alone record them. Um, but now we're back stronger than ever, not really, but better than before is <laughs> what I'm uh, settling for. Uh, to continue our assault on Mordor, it's been a couple days since the previous recording, so I'm not quite 100% sure where I left it off, but I do remember we were getting ready, and I think we can still do it in this turn, yes to attack Moranon, and I think I did make a point of teleporting this army away so we could have an actual siege of the Black Gate itself. We got Balaknar Sunfire, which is one of my favorite Nazgul names to say. He has Temple Wards, oh joy. We got some Luke in Azrim or Dragonwrath Cataphract. Sorry, the picture kind of got me confused. I think they use the old picture, right? I think the Dragonwrath Cataphracts, yeah, they look like that now. So they still use the old picture. They have the same stats as us. Hmm, unsure. Interesting. Well, I do hope they don't have the same stats as us, although judging by the abilities of the glance, I think they're going to be the exact same unit. Ah, oh, fuck, that's going to be scary. I didn't really think about that, but the moment we buffed our own troops, we indirectly buffed Mordor's troops as well, because they get a bunch of our units. So that's going to be interesting. Those men of Rune that uh, decided not to follow their Lokan in war against Mordor, but uh, decided to stay loyal to Sauron. Um, I should probably kill this guy first first, but I really want to do this battle. So let's see if we can teleport Mr. Gorgul away, uh, Mr. Show Curse Stat, and then move character uh, Gorgul with an accent circumflex, uh, 3, 4, 7, 2, 50, please work, character not found, what? I typed it exactly right, character Gorgul, okay, no accent then, 3, 4, 7, 2, 50. There we go, that worked. So I'm teleporting him close enough that he will reinforce, the amount of troops doesn't change. It just changes that we're not fighting on an open field, but at the actual Black Gate. Which really only makes it more difficult for me, but all the more cinematic. Oof, the balance of power does not favor me whatsoever. What have they got? They got some trolls, I think I'm one of those Dragon Wrath cataphracts. I really don't have that much infantry. Hmm. But I've got a decent amount of siege equipment, so I can actually take down Ballista Towers, I think. The Org Defenders, 7-Eleven. That's not terrible. They do have a lot of them. Maybe I should wait for the reinforcements. Maybe I should wait with Kavitha. Then again, I mean, he might be able to make it in one turn. Let's attack this army. They're probably going to pull back. No, we can't really move that far. That is mildly annoying. I could wait for Kavitha, but oh, damn, I'm an... I'm an impossibly impatient little child, and I want to take the Black Gate. Call it the Golden Gate, so we're going to do this. I really shouldn't be doing this. This is really bad idea. Do not follow my example, and let's take the Black Gate. 
Alright, here we are, the Black Gate looking as beautiful as ever. I bet some of you are thinking that I'm still suffering from some kind of a fever dream for trying to even undertake this battle. Man, fever dreams are the fucking worst. I actually had some when I was when I was sick in the weekend. And one of them was... I don't, I don't even know why or what the fucking reason for that was. But one of them was that I was back in university, which you know hasn't been the case for about three years now. I've been working for three years. Uh, and for some reason, I was in a dome. This is all my infantry, by the way. <laughs> why am I doing this? For some reason, I was in a dorm, and that dorm had impossibly small doors and corridors. I could barely squeeze my own body through my own friggin' door. I'm not sure why that was a thing. I'm not sure why that that scared me a little bit. But yeah, it was it was really unpleasant that I had to like squeeze my body through narrow doors and and hallways just to get to my own dorm room. Which is a, it's a little bit silly. Because I didn't really spend all that much time at a dorm when I was in university, but whatever. But whatever. Those are just the worst kind of dreams. I'm sure all of you can relate to that. When you're dreaming about school, and you're like, Ah, oh, fuck, I got like an exam, or a test, or a task I had to do, and I forgot to do it. And it's just a horrible dream, because for some reason, at that point, it's the most important thing going on in your life. Wait, did the gate open? Oh, that must have been an accident. Uh, you know, I'm not really sure why, like I said, I've been out of uni for three years, I've been out of high school for uh, god knows how many years. Wait, is he actually marching out? Absolute mad lad. Okay. A little bit annoying. Because I don't know if my troops in any suitable position. Um, Good flank with my privateer calf. Just to make sure that it doesn't catch up to my... Um, Siege equipment crew, but I don't think you will. But yeah, I've been out of high school for forever now. Yet I still sometimes dream about specific courses and specific teachers giving me a hard time. <laughs> Why am I like this? Come on. Alright, I can counter with my chariots as well. Why are you... Are you doing it this... Your infantry as well? No, you're literally... Yeah, somewhat. You're sending your archers out. What the fuck, Balaknar? You've been smoking... The pipe weed for a little bit too much? I think I think so. And tell my dudes not to fire it. My chariots should be able to steamroll them. And I forgot to turn off my steam again. Uh, there we go. No, I need to put... Do not disturb. Yeah, they're getting absolutely fucked. Cataphracts crush. I'm uh, sorry, uh, chariots crush cavalry. What are you doing? Like, come out and face me. I won't even mind that. I would make this fight quite a bit easier. It does make me wonder why I really forced my hand to do a siege battle if you're going to fight me on the field anyway, but whatever. It's the least of my concern. I mean, Balaknar's chilling. He's actually running away. Sodon, please, I'm under attack. <laughs> Little bitch. Yeah, I guess the real Dragon Wrath Cataphracts were the one that uh, stuck with that low carne. Eh? You're just uh, the pussy squad. I did always send the weakest soldiers to uh, fight alongside. No, wait, whoa, 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 fuck. I forgot to recall them. They almost left the battlefield, which would have really <laughs> made me lose the battle. Yeah, I always send out my weakest divisions. Fuck Sauron. If he wants to take my lads, then, you know, I'm not going to give him the, the cream of the crop, so to speak. All right, get yourself in position. They are marching out, which will make my life quite a bit easier. I deserve some quality of life. Come on. It does hurt me a little bit to have to kill my rune brethren. Okay, don't get too close. Actually, I'm going to pull you back a little bit. Just because I don't want to face those towers. My archer should be in range soon. Yeah, okay, there we go. Those reinforcements are coming in. Some men of Harad. What else you got? Trolls. Are those Olokai? Yeah, Olokai. More cataphracts. Ah, a bunch of random crap. Alright, fight away, lads. Ooh, these halberds are specifically flammable. Alright, not the battle I had in mind, but honestly... I'm gaining from this. This is actually in my favor. Got my noble siege crew. I wish they'd look a little bit more runic. They look very bland right now, but 
Whatever, that's not the, the biggest concern. Archers! Hey, chariots, you can actually fire too if you want, doesn't matter. The, like, what's going on, AI? Tell me. Are you okay? Are you feeling sick? I can relate. I wish he'd send out his troops. Or not, but like this halfway, half sending them out, half not sending them out is really annoying. Uh, I don't think he really knows what he wants, but whatever. Yeah, keep fighting. If he wants to go chase my privateer cab, that's fine. I'm not gonna count on a route because they are being led by one of the Nazgul. Fear alone will keep them in line. Let's grab our ballistae back. Look at the men of Khand. Look at them Mongols. Well, they're not really Mongols. They're men of Khand, but they are very much Mongols. Alright. Let's make sure my ballistic crew doesn't run into the Hobbit's head first. That would be a little bit silly, but... Alright, let's go for a good old calf sandwich. Not even a halberd unit can stand against that. Bloop, there we go. Uh, Ballista crew, hang on a little bit. They fucked? Oh yeah, they fucked. They were fucked even before the privateer cab arrived. Yeah, no chance. No chance, buddy. Alright, stick to the side. Catapult crew, be careful. What do we got here? Black Widow Conscious. Let's give them a little bit of a cavalry welcome, shall we? It's a good thing I don't have timers up for most of these battles, because they sometimes really take a long time. Um, Stop archers, can you get back here? Don't skirmish. You're no longer part of the Khand army, you're part of the Runic army. We don't skirmish, we're not pussies, come on. Alright, catapults or ballista crew. Wait a second. There it says ballistai, but if I click on it, it says ballista. Plural and then singular. That's odd. Ballista. Ballistae. What about catapult? Yeah, it is called catapults. And I'm pretty sure if I actually click on it and they equip it, then it becomes catapult. Singular. Ah, interesting grammar tidbits in <laughs> a 15-year-old game with Izzy. That's what the channel is all about, boys. Fuck the actual battle. We're doing singular and plural <laughs> nouns. We won't taste anything but the sweet, sweet nectar of victory. Alright, fuck those guys. Then pull back. Grab the catapult. Ballista, just go ham. You don't have to fire on the tower just yet. We have plenty of ammo. With two ballista units and a catapult unit, I don't think we'll be running out anytime soon. Alright, archers, if you can fire on the defenders, that'd be awesome. We're playing this a little bit careful, because we are very much outnumbered, so I think that warrants a more careful approach. You can lob a few rocks at the defenders, that's fine. Don't need to be overly cautious either. Okay, they're getting hammered hard. What are these guys doing? Spending all their time setting up. Uh, the South Run have already started arriving. Are this Olokai also going to come that way? They're just going to send in everyone. No, the South Run is just completely spread over the battlefield. Okay, well, most of the units are outside now, so they should start piling on in. Let's lob a few rocks. That was a good hit. The tower. I think one ballista is actually enough to take down a gate, even with a little bit to spare. Pretty sure I've done it in the past, so that's comforting.
We nice. It looks cinematic as well, though. Look at that. Just the red skyline over there. Wonderful. Even though that shouldn't really be red because that's further away from the Mordor Ashen Lands, whilst uh, it looks less red that way, whilst it really should be more red. But whatever. Whatever. I'm hanging out like a friggin' nerd. That tower not yet broken. That's surprising. Alright, let's give them a little bit of a, a push to hopefully get them to attack us. Uh, those aren't orc defenders, they're orc offenders. God damn it. Alright, I'm gonna pull these guys back for a little bit. Just because of these guys coming closer. Alright. Chariots, go ham. That seems to be working out to kind of push them to attack us. Vroom. They're also really just straight up dying from one little... One little charge. One charge is all it takes. Alright, slow and steady. We've only lost 3% and we've killed 37. This slow and steady approach is working quite beautifully. Look at that. Random chariot doing drive-bys. What is this? GTA Definitive Edition? I sure hope not. Alright, pull back. Chariots, get the fuck out of there. Regroup. If only the orcs were so smart to destroy my siege equipment. But alas, they physically can't. Oh, you're out of ammo. That's a bit of a shame. All of you are running out of ammo. That's really bad news, actually, because we still need to kill over half that army. Hmm. Well, I got a lot of cav. Maybe I should start using them a little bit more on these quote-unquote open field battles. Uh, let's send in the privateer cavalry. Those guys have been doing good work. Why is my low kinesium over here? I have no idea. Oh no, I lost the chariot. I've been meaning to send them back, but... They're quite aggressive, these lads. Alright, not to worry, not to worry. This dwarven music's getting me a little bit hyped, not gonna lie. You can, you can hate the dwarves all you want, but you gotta admit, they got some sick tunes. I wanna save my chariots to get rid of the Southland Lancer unit. That would be... Quite fantastic. The enemy are badly they would do a really good job at it. Lost half their men. Brum. Yeah, fuck you, buddy. Oh no! I only need uh, like 12 guys to man all the ballista. And we're about to really fuck up the Southern Lancers. So Loki and Azrim get them stuck, get them tied up, and the chariots come in for the kill. I mean, the Lokin is at him alone are destroying the Southern Lancers, but it's about to get a whole lot worse for them. Alright, Dragonrath Cataphracts. Join your friends. Keep them occupied. 51%. Good, good, good. That's of both armies, mind you. And trolls, I'm not that scared of, to be fair. Maybe I should be. I don't know. Have I even fought trolls as a rune so far? I can't remember. Uh, maybe I am underestimating them. They are Olokai as well, so they're not just regular trolls. They're not any any old troll. They are the most dangerous, angry trolls. Except maybe snow trolls. No, I think Olokai are one small tier above them. It doesn't look like they still have half that army, to be fair. I guess most of it is all the way back here. Yeah, they're buggering off. All according to plan. And make sure they never show their face here. And send in our siege equipment, because we're about to take down this friggin' gate. There we go. They're gonna burn, alright. 
60%. Now we're talking. Those are big numbers. Alright, save your ammo. You might actually deal damage against, like, trolls. Your missile attack is quite high. Right, so that's, uh... The skirmish that the Black Gate cleared out. Now it's time to do the actual siege. I quite like this battle, actually. It's quite fun to actually have, like, a preemptive attack. The prelude battle. Before we really send in the actual siege. So is he moving forth with his troops? No, they are just staying there. Okay. So we're going to have a big dirty battle for the actual gate. Wonderful. Alright, uh, I'm going to move my cavalry a little bit closer just to keep an eye on like the health of towers and gates. I do want to take down both gates in case he tries to uh, defend one side really hard. Then I can maneuver around the other one. And if they start doing annoying stuff with their towers, I will have the catapult ready to go take him out. So how are we looking? Damage 0%. Yeah, I wasn't fighting, I was fighting at that one. Which I can't see the damage off. No. Keep an eye on them. These guys might be close enough to trigger some towers. The eight halberds. I don't think so though. I think we're good. Alright, move you a little bit closer. 39%, okay. 13% per bolt, is that the case? No, 6% per bolt. Okay, I can live with that. We have plenty of ammo to take down both gates and then some. Oh man, imagine how cool it would be to actually have the gates like opening like the way they do in the movies. I'm not sure how you destroy, because then you have to destroy the entire thing, which... Okay, towers are firing because of uh, the halberds, but I think they might be moving out, in which case I'll just snipe them. No? Is that not the case? Okay, then I'm actually going to move my crew a little bit back, just because they're getting focused on. If I move my Inasidim close enough, I don't think they can fight at me. Okay... He's sending in the trolls, so I'm actually going to wait just a little bit longer. If they get in a good spot for my ballista, I might try to get some sneaky shots off. Watch him move them on the walls. They can actually hit trolls. Hmm, they're, they're arcing too, too much. Alright, what can take down Olokai? Javelins. And then the javelins. Well, I can take down Olokai as well. Look, flag at him. Armor piercing. Yeah. But I haven't been too pleased with the results of our look, flag at him for the most part. Now, let's give the tower a couple more volleys just to kind of scare the tower a little bit. <laughs> Fuck you, tower. I'm going to scare you. Now you can just chill over that. Uh, slow and steady, slow and steady. Send in the Rovanian Hunter boys. They are pretty much a throwaway unit. So I'm not too concerned if the towers end up destroying my Rovanian Hunters. Like, I just need to try... Okay, I th yeah, that tower is gone. Good. So I don't mind fighting on this right side. No problem, my friend. What if I squeeze my own units on the wall? That might actually be an interesting idea. Alright, first things first. Rovanian Hunters, see if you can throw your magic sticks at the Olokai. It's a bit of a tight gap. But hey, I believe you can do it. They could really do a lot of damage to the Olokai, they have very big hitboxes. It's not, I mean, they destroy, like, elephants and chariots a lot. So the trolls are not going to go as fast. They're not going to go down as fast as those units would, but it's still comparatively... Okay, it's literally two guys. Hmm. 
I bet you do. When they say we await your command, that means we have acknowledged your first command, but it was completely poor shit. So we're not going to really do anything. They have taken the walls. It is time we captured this place. Okay. Try again. Better. I mean, if they're not going to do anything, I can just chill here and use up all my ammo. Don't mind me. <laughs> Are you hitting anything? Eh, kind of. Just softening them up. Giving them the crunch. The Nestle crunch. Alright. Let's see if we can take down that tower as well. Not like I'm going to use my catapult crew for anything else, I don't think. Could use them for, like, the close encounter fighting, but... 20%. Is that 10% per shot? No, that's 6% per shot. Not sure how much a ballista would do, actually. I'm not sure if they'd fare a whole lot better. Worth a shot. Okay, you're out of ammo. Did you kill one Olokai? No. <laughs> hey, maybe you hurt one a little bit. Maybe you hurt its feelings. Alright, send forth the legions. And start with the infantry. 71%. Okay, you're doing quite alright. If I can take down both towers, then... That's peace of mind right there. Boom. Okay, good. Uh, you can go back on that ballista. Because then I might try and squeeze my chariots through. I'm not sure how chariots would do against trolls. But they do... I think they do either very well or very poor. Those are the only two options, really. Okay. Hello, pike boys. Hold, hold, hold. If they want to fight me in this tight little cubbyhole with pikes, then I will gladly allow them to do so. That really favors me. Except if he sends in his trolls, then it's a bit of a different story. Oh my god, we're inside the gate! Yeah, nice try sending in your horses, you idiot. Alright, we're doing this? I think we're doing this. So we're going to try to just push the chariots through. Or maybe I should try to assassinate those cataphracts. I don't have to worry about them anymore. Yeah, that might even be a better idea. My go low camper will be fine. Come on, just brute through. Don't get stuck. Wow, I love how that first unit died. Come on, normally you're supposed to push through. You fucking idiots. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. Yikes. Alright, not a big deal. Not a big deal whatsoever. Um, the thing is, my Faru mercenaries will get destroyed by the Black Oak Alberts, I think. Or we will taste ashes instead of victory. No, we're fine. My lone Gamper might have a field day against these nerds. Like, on paper, they should beat us, but because of our excellent positioning here, and our OP pike animation, they don't stand a chance. And then they just got a couple of Halberd units. And that's really it. Temple wards, yeah, okay, that's a scary one. Uh, arches, I'm not scared about arches. I think what I want to do is, he's got his troops positioned relatively far away. So I'm just going to just sneak past him. He's not even going to move at all because he's a moron. If he does, I'll have my cataphracts on standby. His units are actually starting to lose hope a little bit. And the trolls, the best way to kill trolls, I think, at this point... With my units is simply outnumber them and if they don't get any help from the black hooks because they're dead then we really outnumber the trolls and we should be able to do a lot of damage against them so i'm gonna send in my low flag at him yeah the black hooks are gone good then my pikey boys they finished up the cavalry they should be able to crush the trolls he's not sending in his friends i can actually send in my cataphracts he's sending in his temple wards which I'm not sure how to feel about that one. Uh, I'm gonna send in the archers just kind of as a backup infantry squad. Yes, the Olokai are suffering. We're gonna give them a calf charge, hopefully a proper charge. Yes, wonderful. Ooh, yeah, that killed two instantly. Which is magnificent. Pull your cavalry out, mate. Come on. 
Get those ponies out of there. If I can cycle charge the Temple Wards, we're laughing. I feel like almost this entire episode is going to be the Battle of the Black Gate. It is a highlight. You wouldn't, you wouldn't like me if I just auto resolved it. Also, because the auto resolve would have lost us the battle. So there's that. Another charge, please, por favor. There we go. There we go. A bit of a weird, hesitant charge, but a charge nonetheless. Somewhat. Not really. But the trolls are going down, lads. The trolls are going down. I repeat, again and again, the trolls are going down. Send in the Dragon Knights as well. Alright. Loke flagged him against Temple Wards. I feel like I've danced that tango before. It didn't really go as, as hoped. Let's try to get the Loke flagged him as a counterforce. That would help my life a little bit. I think it worked. Yes, they're not the frontal force. Balaknar, your time has come, you filthy son of a bitch. Good charge. Just immediately killing a couple of this temple wards. More than just a couple. Wonderful. Absolute results. Alright, he's seemingly had enough. He's so dumb though, move those halberds. You could you could still easily win this battle. But your own stupidities costing you lives. Which is the story of the AI in a nutshell. Charge him again! Balaknar is fighting himself. There he is. Getting his sword wet. I respect that. I'll build him a nice little grave. Somewhere right next to the latrine. Oh shit, that's the enemy cavalry! It's almost hard to tell them apart. Fuck. He's employing my own strategies, that son of a bitch! That's not legal! Hey, no, you're not supposed to do that! I destroyed my Luke flag at him. Fuck me. Fuck me. <laughs> that was brutally effective. Oh god, my, ooh, my general is going down fast, what the hell? I thought Dragon Knights were compatible to Dragon Wrath Cataphracts. Oh no. Oh no 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 no, 929 versus 1332, Dragonrath Cataphracts are much better. Hey General, get the hell out. Is my General dead? No, okay, survived, good. Whew. Well that was a uh, cause for concern. Alright, so uh, my Dragonrath Cataphracts, or their Dragonrath Cataphracts, completely ruined all my hopes and dreams, which is uh, less unfortunate. So, and then... The reinforcements. Alright, Privateer Cavalry. We need help, man. Are you skilled against mounts? Or are you AP? No, you're just strong, okay. Yeah, man, those Dragon Wrath Cataphracts are something else. I really should have saved my chariots for them. Fuck. I didn't expect them to be so aggressive all of a sudden. Yes, Balaknar is dead. I mean, most of his army is already dead, if not all of it, so I don't expect to rout anytime soon. Temple Woods typically don't rout either. But still, we might get lucky. Okay, the Dragonrath Cataphracts are surrounded. I'm actually going to pull back my own Cataphracts. I'm gonna pull in my Dragon Riders, and I think at that point I've sent in all my armies. Yeah, pretty much. <sighs> Fuck you, archers! Proper charge? No, don't even bother. Hey, you're not supposed to fight on them, what the fuck? Alright, surrounding his best troops. Ooh wee, this is a hard battle all of a sudden. I really thought it was in the bag, but... This cataphracts are fucking me up. 
quite hard. Alright, that was a good charge against these archers. The halberds are going to give me a hard time though. Need to find a way to deal with them. I mean, the Cataphract and the Temple Ward should go down just based on how outnumbered they are. The Ballista, they're going to help take down the Halberd lads. Yeah, this is proving to be problematic. Even if we win this battle, I mean, I'm assuming we will, we're going to need more troops to reinforce. Because a counterattack seems imminent. We do have Rukar coming in with extra troops, so... Help isn't too far off. Alright, Dragon Riders against Dragon Wrath Cataphracts. Somehow I'm not feeling great about this. This, on the other hand, this is going to be fun. Ballista style execution, my favourite kind. Right, pull back. Hard fight, mate. Hard fight. Those temple wards are just not going down. Good God, someone put an end to this nonsense. Alright, Fire Legion, you just hold your ground. The Ballista will just blitz them away, that is the plan. I mean, their morale's got to be an issue at some point, right? Ballista, can you fucking get a move on, please? Like, the Fire Legion's absolutely getting smushed, and you're not doing anything. There we go. Good hit. More of that. More, more, more. Somehow fire seems more effective. I don't know if that's actually the case, but... Temple Ward's 14. Cataphract, 6. <laughs> they just don't know when to quit. Alright, if you think you get most of the black, black lines, I mean back lines. I mean, they are black Uruk, so I guess it's kind of a black line as well. But the front line is now causing me the most grief. At least the Hobbits are easily preoccupied. Hey, that wasn't even part of the plan. It's causing them to uh, fuck off, though. No, oh, that was Balaknar. I thought Balaknar was already dead. That was just a random Captain Gorgul, right? Teleported guy. Yes. It's just that unit then. Okay, perfect. They fight with horns made of clay, I fight with balls of steel. Balls of gold, really. Alright. They're gone. Just one last unit to break. Um, which, uh. Get the Revanian Hunters to be a, an anvil, and then my Cataphracts who have done all the heavy lifting in this battle. They probably got the most kills. They'll finish them off with a nice charge. Oh shit. Don't die on me now. I'm gonna keep using you, even though that might not be the best course of action. Yeah, okay, you're done. I'm such a, an asshole. That unit has served me so well, the best out of all units in this battle, and I just send them to their quick little death right at the end there. Just for some reason, their halberds absolutely destroy my cab, yet whenever I use halberds, they don't do anything. Annoying ass unit type. I don't like halberds. As I said, the AI always knows how to use them so well, and I just end up doing nothing with them. Right, make sure they're all gone. What have we got left? Oh, a couple black Uruk friends. So fuck this one guy. Bloop. Now they're bracing, which makes it impossible for me to charge them properly. Unless I hit them in the rear. Idiots. Okay, that didn't work. Why did that not work? I called them idiots and everything. It should have worked. Alright. There we go. Victory is well within our <sighs> it's literally two guys. Because these guys are out. 
and they're not on the dance squad. Oh, that was a hard fight. It took me all about like like <laughs> 45 minutes, something like that. Absolute insanity. All right, let's end the battle there. Whew, that was a hard fight, but we came out on top and we still have 666 soldiers remaining. That's a sign, baby. Satan is on our side. The Dragon Wrath Cataphract's indeed getting the most kills. Not even close, I think. Yeah. Absolute chads. And to think the enemy had two units of those. They had like three times the, the amount of Cataphracts that we had. Yeah, it's all about how you use it. That's what I always say. Alright. Well, that's all for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Nah, I'm kidding. Don't worry about it. <laughs> We're going to continue playing a little bit longer. Alright, there we go. Moranon is ours. The Black Gate. Mine, baby. M -m mine Exterminate the populace. There's too many people living there. There don't need to be anyone living there. 4,000 is still too much. And I remember this name recommendation from a while ago. I can't remember who mentioned it exactly, but I think it was uh, pretty much unanimously liked. The Golden Gate instead of the Black Gate. Wonderful. Bring out your paint buckets, because we're painting this bitch gold. Alright, what do I want to build? I want culture. And I want it now. I also want to get uh, some vision. Oh, there we go. Yaved the Gatekeeper. Where does he fit in in the... Is he general or family member? I think he's just a random general. Uh, I'm not seeing his picture anywhere. No, oh, there he is. Yaved the Gatekeeper. He is... So that's the Low Khan. Now one of his sons is Abdus. One of his grandchildren is Yazdan, conqueror of Deal. Good bloodline. Uh, so it's a grand grandson of the Low Khan, Yaved the Gatekeeper. We also have Kathir in that bloodline and Yorok, conqueror of Thranduil's Halls. This really is a blessed a return to Monkey as well. What a great bloodline. What other bloodlines have we got? It's actually kind of interesting. We've got Uldor the Inquisitor, okay. And Tardan, Inquisitor Varfang, and Enver, so nothing too crazy there. Uh, we got Batu the Inquisitor, Sartak, oh that was the, the, the Kingslayer, I remember him. So that was also a, a good bloodline but cut way too short, unfortunately Sartak didn't really uh, spread his seed, so to speak. Over here we have Amdur, that's the, our heir, he's got Mukalku as a son, Marwan, and Suede. We got Ulfang, Zartoshi, the microwave, Karfe, Yoruk, Urdrath, and Koshila, conqueror of Eskaroth. So all in all, I'd say the, the rightmost bloodline, the one from Abdus, is actually the most blessed. So maybe I should make Abdus my heir instead. He has made good children, strong warriors. Alright, watchtower so we can see all the way to Orkestalad. Let me go chill at the Golden Gate. Alright, uh, look at that. We're just closing in on Sauron. He must be pissing his spiritual pants by now. Let's build some shit. Austin Airy, anything I want, anything I desire, lots of things I desire. Uh, culture, yes. Logarth, that's one of our newly acquired regions as well, right? Yes, so culture will be the name of the game. Um, so let's run at 70, keep an eye on that. Witherboard, let's get a leather worker for the money, the moolah. Oibamari, where the hell is that? Alright, oh, that's over there, and you can't. Uh, let's get some roads there, in case I need to send troops down there. That will speed things up quite a bit. Eminifun, right, that's over there. What is culture like? 24%. Hmm. I'll wait a little bit with building barracks then, and we'll get a leather worker. Uh, anything else? Dragon's Vengeance. Mm, culture, is that good? 68, that's pretty good. We'll get a practice range then. So I can train archers there. Uh, Winterian Rower. Mm, I don't really care about that. People have been mentioning that I should build armories to reduce the corruption, but it's literally 30 gold I'm losing out on, whilst this costs 1.2k and costs me... Well, 1.2k. I don't care about that. I don't care. I can spend my money... In better places. But Swan Song? Um, I guess practice range of culture allows it, 40%. Yep, good enough for me. Uh, anything else? Still have a couple of settlements. Kingslayer's Rest. Um, oh, could train some troops there. 
See, there's a lot more corruption here, 800, so an armory is actually worth quite a bit there. So we'll build that. Uh, dinner hour scan. Decent amount of income from scan. Let's get some farms, I'd say. Dragon Reach. 184 corruption. That makes it worth it to build the armory. Yeah, sure. It's for the law bonus that reduces corruption. Um, but Alga. Nothing really. Nothing I really want. Thranduil's Ashes. Uh, I think I want the Bazaar there. But actually, no, I want the Trader Exchange, because that's actually better. Burkaupis. Lots of corruption. Armory makes it worth it. And I think that's all she wrote. Right, so, how are we looking in terms of war? Anarian did make a point that if we capture Bjorn's Hall, we do get, I think, the last of the Dragon Relics we still need. So I guess that's something we can set our sights upon. Um, do I have any spare troops here? Not really. I thought I was moving an army in the direction of the Ogul. Oh, that's probably Kavatha's army. Yeah, that's the one I had in mind. Loksha Kavatha. What else have I got in terms of armies? We've got troops here. We've got, of course, Big Daddy Rukar. The reinforcements here with Captain Rahu. Isn't that a, a dish, Rahu? I think it is. We've taken Shelkar. I think I'm just going to let that army chill for a little bit. But also the siege to Kruk Maur. They've kind of positioned themselves awfully, so I could take that. Or I could siege him out for seven turns. Honestly, I ain't got much to lose. And again, I don't really want to fight that army on the field. Another siege battle does seem a little bit intense. They got a lot of archers, though. Or horse archers, specifically. So they would go down quite easily. Hmm. No, what we want right now is another army, and we got one already at Mistrant already, uh, to go towards Bjorn's Halls. Or I could muster an army here in the north, whatever remnants I've got lying around. We do have Yasur himself. Hmm, actually, he could muster probably a decent force. We also have Amdur. He's not really doing anything at the moment. Yeah, we're gonna need more troops. But I can't train troops. So that's quite good. We're training troops already. Wonderful. So maybe I'll just scoot by on troops I already have here. Although I'm not sure how far that will get me. <laughs> it's gonna take a little bit. Yeah, no, we're gonna need more troops. It's gonna be quicker just to get an army from Mr. Hunt. Right, so what have I got? I don't need a general. That's a good thing. So we just send in this entire army? Fuck it, why not? It's good enough for me. Except you, because you're not fully trained. Nor are you. Nor you. And I can fill in the ranks with whatever else I got lying around. So you lads. You're going... Actually, it's probably fastest to put him on a boat now. Send them up the Kelduin. Yeah, it's going to be much faster. Alright, sail away. Couple turns. Weary camels, all that jazz. I like it. Uh, you guys can go inside, maybe get some retraining done. Well, let's see here. Dragonwrath guards, yes, low camper him always. Uh Camel Shadow Guard. Yes. I got lots of troops here as well. Probably already have enough for a second army soon. Uh Surya Chariots, yes. Looking as it is always. Fang Legion, yes. Uh let's see, Candish Raiders. I'll get some of these guys just for the flavor. The flavor of the armies, I mean. Two more turns for the Dragon Breath. Awesome. Couple of troops ready here as well. Kara sounds also looking quite spiffy. So also, let's see, these guys. I wouldn't mind sending them. Can form an army at least. Lest we forget to move them. Uh, let's see, I can honestly already move these lads over. Yeah. Honestly, that's, that's another close enough full army ready to go. Right, so I could do the Siege of Krukmaur. Shall we do it? Fuck it, let's do it. That's probably going to be the last battle of this episode, because it's already going to be a long one. But, uh, I think it's going to be a fun one. Two big battles and just more troops maneuvering to the front lines. It's just going to be these kind of big battles all around now, which... Yeah, it does slow down the episodes a little bit, but honestly... That's what we've been working towards for all these episodes, so this campaign's going to be a bit longer than I 
first had in mind, then I'm down for it. I want to make the runic empire big, chunky. All right, let's do it. We dance with death this day. Okay, do that looks like a shithole. So don't mind me if I just burn into the ground. Um, I think if I make a hole in the wall, my Mumakil can actually squeeze through. And seeing as I have a bunch of cavalry, my Mumakil are actually going to completely crush him. So that's that's probably the best course of action. Um, I'm also going to ram down. I'm going to put rams all over the place just so they can kind of spread out their troops. But then I actually won't ram them down from those places, you know, if that makes sense. So I'll put a ram, like, here. And unless they don't put anyone there... If they don't put anyone there, I will ram it down. But otherwise, I'll just kind of, kind of be vibing. Put a ram here, and they're like, "Oh no, they're gonna ram it down!" And I'm like, "Nope." All right, take down the wall. So I didn't really care about this side then. All right, I guess my little camp room will make a hole in the wall. Ah, you kidding me? I thought rams could work. Ah, it's one tier too high for them to work. Uh, whatever. The ballista will do what it needs to do. Those all seem like solid hits. I just really hope that the elephants can squeeze through. Otherwise, this entire plan's for nothing. But imagine the elephant just trampling through here. Unless they get absolutely toasted by one of those <laughs> catapults or ballista. I should be big enough to squeeze a mumma kill through it, right? Any hole's big enough if you're brave enough. Yeah, that's... Ah, I can fit two mumma kills side by side through that. No problem. And they're gonna go on a mad stamp. Oh, no, 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 no. That's gonna be glorious, my friends. It's gonna be massive. Don't fuck up now, Ballista. You still have a decent amount of shots. Just... There we go. Like, measure that, and then measure this butt. Yeah, that's fine. That is... that is big enough. This might be a bit of a dumb idea. I might end up wasting a Mumu kill, even if it's not entirely necessary. But oh my god, is it gonna be fun. You fucking idiots. Don't be afraid. Yeah, they can easily squeeze through that. Why was I even worrying about it in the first place? They might even prove me right and put two at the same time. Yeah, pretty much. Stomp, 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 motherfucker. Alright, you wanna you wanna keep moving through. Don't get stuck. <laughs> Sweepity swoopity. They're actually taking a lot of damage. You need to keep moving. They're taking way too much damage. But so are they, and those horses are about to get fucked. The Vadiag Nobles, that's the one we really want. They're the ones that are doing AP. All the other Cav, they're not doing any damage to us. Look at them. Hello, Superman. I've brought your kryptonite. They're probably also pissing their pants. Rightfully so at that. Look at that! Boom! Boom! <laughs> ah, you fucking donkey brains. I'm enjoying this one too much. I've missed this. A game of mid two a day keeps the doctor away. Oh, let's speed this up a little bit. As fun as it is to watch them get crushed, I want to get a move on. Oh yeah. Um. Oh no, we lost one. Which one? Aw, oh, that's a shame. If I wanted to cheese my way to victory, I'd just send in a throwaway unit right now. And then they'd die, but then we'd replenish one of the Mumakil. That is an effective way to cheese your game. I think Legend of Total Water campaign like that once, where he had like, I don't know, five super elite units, and he just always send them in first to clear out like 90% of the enemy army. And then he'd send in some scrappy unit just to die, pretty much. And he'd replenish his really good units. At the cost of, you know, barely anything. There we go. 
Watch me take an entire settlement with just some angry elephant boys. Oh no, we lost another one. How? Who? I don't understand. Literally the one wind rider unit that's causing the towers to fight? The ballista? I don't think the ballista's fired at all. Fuck man. These towers are costing me dearly. Which is a little bit BS, but whatever. Oh come on, these towers are absurd. Mm, I'm pissed off now. The range of the towers as well. We're on the town square, mate. The town square. Yeah, don't just shoot me when I'm on the town square. Ah, whatever. I won't lose any sleep over the couple of Mumu kill. It's fine. We might even heal one back. Okay, you're already celebrating, but... Oh, there's a guy stuck inside your dead friends, which is pretty disgusting. I wouldn't call this a great victory, but it's a victory. Uh, we healed five. I'm not sure if that will pff, leads to a new Mumikil being born. Guess we'll have to find out. Bada bing bada boom, Kruk Mahur is mine. That's a large sway of land as well. Look at the mini-map, look at the mini-map. Boom. I like it. Uh, I wish you'd put down some watchtowers for me, you lazy fox. I don't even have a general. God damn it. Let's repair the wall. Uh, and let us... Get a little bit more culture, I'd say. Alright. Uh, well, I've still got a little bit of time. So I think we're at the end of our turn. Don't think there's anything else I need to be doing. Resistance is futile. Tell me about it. And uh, da -da 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 -da. No one likes me. Oh, story of my life. <laughs> I could do this battle, but I can't be asked. Let them fuck off towards Gelabrin or whatever. Okay, let's press the end turn. I might even get some more fun stuff with uh, Rukardon. Although the actual Siege of Baradur will be for the next episode. You can already look forward to that one. That's going to be fun. That might be just as long, if not longer, than the Siege of uh, the Black Gate. Oh, look at that. Wonderful. He already wants to test the defense of the Golden Gate. No problem. I will show you. Oh, fuck you. Ah, Guldur. Come on. I thought we could postpone this tango just a little bit longer. Is that a problem? I don't know who's in Anathaur. I don't think it is... Um, what's his face? The archer guy. The Loknarim general. Lots of defensive siege battles coming up. Which I'm not too opposed to. There's Harad coming in as well, which I'm not sure if they like me very much. Moran on Uruk's reform! In a daring move, somebody has dared to not only besiege but conquer the Moran on his pride damaged, his image weakened, and the forces of good empowered. Oh, that's a relative term. Sauron calls his best into action. <laughs> his best! <laughs> Even stinkier orcs than before. Go forth, my legion, and take back what is mine. His voice rumbles in the horde's heads, installing great in instilling great fear in them should they fail, for something far worse than death would await them. Yes. Uh, sure. Um, yeah, okay. Is that... the Doomstack? That seems like a pathetic army. I'd love to have Rahu clean them up. The thing is, Mr. Rukar... Well, his army could actually use some some extras. Alright, let's go through our uh, briefs. They don't like me. No one likes me. Dolgoldur really doesn't like me. Not really surprising, I guess. What's going on at Enethaur? Oh, he's going for the golden boat as well, that son of a bitch. And he only have Ulfang there. Can we get some mercs? No. Oh. What about some... Elves. No. Well, that's a problem. I really don't have any reinforcements on this flank. Who is in Enethaur? No one special. Kathir, bunch of units. Actually, not that bad of an army. We might fare okay. We'll have to see. Um, right, lots of new troops. We do have the reinforcements coming in. The army that's going towards... Like this army. Um, Bjorn's Hall. I could use that one as well to fuck over Dolgoldur. This army as well, Kavitha. 
Shakhtar, can you fuck off? I'm not interested in fighting you at all. I'm gonna get these orc maulers because I can. There's Dankalad. Uh, if we take that, then Dorn Iraq is pretty close by, and then it's actually already up to Dol Guldur. They can actually crumble quite fast. Alright, so let's do some building. Mataram, public fountains, uh, let's get the Confederation camp because I can actually get lots of units then. Rubar, fountains, let us get Ballista Maker. Strandlos got some farms, let's get a Great Hall. Santan, we got a Great Hall already. Could get a Marksman's range. Do I have 75% culture? Yes, I do. Or I can get the highest tier of barracks here. Mm, let's get the barracks. Uh, Mountain Caligon got a market. Wonderful. I want a bazaar. Golden Goat Boat got a trading post. We might lose Golden Boat, so I'll just invest small time stuff. Um, let's see. That's an upgrade at Burgram. Nice. That is now an upgraded settlement. So Caligon might be able to buzz off now. No, not yet. We should be getting there. Uh, let's get a Great Hall for, like, peace. Quiet. Erendolan got the Shake Stables. Not sure why I built those, because I can't actually train anything. No, I can get Loki Nazarim. Really? Hm, I thought they'd require more culture than that. I'll get the Gathering Grounds just for the law bonus and the little bit of income. Amurun got a Practice Range. Um, let's get a Town Guard, I guess. So the Lutzerun got a Trader Exchange. They're not very happy. 70% is enough, though. I think I'll get some trade routes, just for big money. Kizilkum was upgraded, nice, so that's now a proper city. Let's get a trading post. Izzy Town got a sanctuary, nice, let's get a trading post that as well. That can actually be a very wealthy settlement. Varfest, let's get a shrine for the culture. Golden Gate, we'll build something, but it doesn't matter because it's under siege, so it won't actually get built. And then all that is repairs, interesting, okay. Right, so you keep moving towards Dankalad. We're gonna take that next turn. We're gonna blitz through Dol Guldur fast. We wanna take their settlements quicker than they can take mine settlements. My settlements. That is the plan. Can I move the Loklaim out of Emenufuin or will they throw a hissy fit? They'll throw a hissy fit. Hmm, it's annoying. But it's such a small hissy fit that I could probably get away with putting the Rook Fire Legion down south. Can I get the cast chosen out of Thranduil's Ashes? Because they will be enough to push back any attack. I do have a big army out on Asana that's currently not doing anything. If I can get them retrained. Which I can already start to do a little bit. Rightio. Okay. Um, I mean, I really should just do the Battle of Baradur. Is Sauron there? No. There's a random army outside of Baradur. If I take Baradur, they might spawn another Doomstack. I'm not too worried about this army. Lots of shitty units. The thing is, I can take Baradur quite easily by attacking this force, I think. No, actually, they're outside of it. So if I do this... They do get reinforcements, Zagbos. But I can take him down... I don't know, he's got my own Luke Gamprim, who look a little bit yellower than what I'm used to. Is that what they always look like? My god, that is gaudy. We will take them down before the battle even starts. Then the actual battle of Baradur itself, I think, can actually be done quite rapidly with these lads, the dragon warriors. Lokan Rukar can probably kill that uh, reinforcement stack on his own. <laughs> Except maybe with the dragon wrath cataphracts. We need to be careful for them, because they are stronger than dragon knights. Yeah, how do I deal with them? Probably pikes and these guys in shield wall. But that is where I will end it for this episode. Not because I want to end it, I really don't. But because the most logical step for me to take right now is to take Baradur. And I'm not going to do that in this episode still, as much as I would like to do so. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I do expect episode 27 to hit your YouTube subscription box or whatever you use to watch my videos a little bit quicker than this one. So thanks for your patience, thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you very, very soon.